In this short video, I want to look at how can we insert and delete in a singly linked list. Let's have a list. Assume we want to insert at the head a new node. What we need to do is we need to set the next of the new node to what is currently the head. Now we just need to update the head of the list to be the new node. And that's it. We've inserted at the head of the list. So let's assume we want to delete the first element. Let's first tidy up my drawing. So now we have a linked list. We want to delete what our current head is. That is very simple. We just need to make sure that this node here, the second node, will be the new head. How do we do that? We simply set the head to head next. And we're done. Inserting and deleting at a different position is also possible as long as we know the predecessor of the node where we want to insert or delete. Let's look at the case where we want to insert and delete at the end, so at the tail. So for that, if we want to insert, we need to know the predecessor of where we want to insert. So for that, we should store also what the last node is, so the tail. If we have done so, we can very easily insert at the end. If we have a new node, because it will be the last node, its next should be none. And we simply need to set the next of tail, of the current tail, to this node. And then we need to set the tail to be the new node because this is now the last node. And again, we're done. If we want to delete at the tail, at the end, that is not easily possible because, as I said, we need to know the predecessor of the node that we want to delete, but we only know the tail itself, so we don't know the node just in front of that. To find that, we have to go through the whole list starting at the head, and that would be linear time. And therefore, inserting and deleting at the head is constant time. Inserting at the tail, if we know the tail, we can do in constant time. Deleting at the tail takes linear time. And that's all. Thanks for watching.